So in this video today, we're going to talk about properly torquing your starter and elevator when you install it. What do I mean by that? We need to have the proper torque specs, which you can find in any service data. You can uh, find this online. Um, you can find it at your local auto parts store, but you need to get the correct torque specs when you're going to install your starter or alternator. Um, and you need to also have the right torque wrench. You're gonna need inch pounds, and you're gonna need foot pounds. Now, if you don't properly torque, your starter alternator, when you're installing it, when you're mounting it, putting on the, the different electrical connections, um, you can get things stored, you can break things. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you some examples um, of what not to do, so to speak, and, and what happens when you don't torque your starter alternator properly when you go to install it. So this first example here, this is a Hyundai alternator, and you can see we've got two mounting ears here, and we've got two here. So, when you go to tighten this down, if you're over tightening, you can distort this case. But what happens when you do that, this case will twist, will distort, and now uh, you slip your alternator's locked up. So, inside here, you got your rotor and your stator, it's got very close tolerances, and if you don't torque it evenly and correctly, you'll wind up with a distorted case, like I said, and you'll wind up with this locked up, or it'll lock up and skip, and roll, spin and skip. So you got to torque it properly. And it doesn't torque as much as you think it is. These are, these are again, you need to look up the specs for what you're working on. Uh, but you know, you're talking 20 to 24 foot pounds, that's it. All right, so this starter here was over tightening when it was mounted. And you can see that, that this is a pad uh, mount type starter. Because you can see that this, when they tightened this bolt, they actually crushed it and cracked it here because they over tightened it. There again, you know, it's, you got to torque them. You know, you, you really have to torque these when you put them in. You can't put an impact on here. You can't put a breaker bar here to tighten it up. If it's not as tight as you think they are, but this one actually got cracked. It got crushed. It got cracked. And then what happened is once it was cracked, it got misaligned because now we're loose. And when we're loose, well, not only was this already broken, but now this, this starter, every time we go to start it, it torques, and it actually broke it even further. So, but you can see that, what happened there. That's why it's very important that you, tor that you torque these and use the right specs. You stock up each bolt, make sure we're all even, and then you torque it. Snug it up doesn't mean full torque. It means just get it up in there and then torque it to whatever spec it is. All right, with this starter here, the B plus was over tightened. As you can see, here's a, I got a cable here, but here's the stud, it goes right here. It over tightened it and then broke it. Uh, there again, now we're talking about inch pounds, not foot pounds anymore, but of course, again, you gotta have your specs to know exactly what it is. So. But I over tightened it and it broke it off. Starter was it. Broke it right there. Right there. Right there. Tight, too tight. Snapped it right out. Broke it right off. So, there again, very important that you torque it. Not just the mounting, but you torque your, your D plus connections, your S connections. If there is, this one just has a plug in connection, that's fine. Uh, but should, this is important to torquing. A lot of people will try to, you know, they think tightening is, you know, you just snug it up and then you tighten it how tight you think it is and then you just give it a little bit more and then you, when you give it a little bit more, you break it off. And now it's good, that's so good. So that's that one. All right, with this example here, this B plus, B plus cable, it was connected, but it wasn't tightened all the way down. So it sit there, and moved and arced and arced and arced and got really, really, really hot. That's what happens. It gets really, really hot and just melted it off. So there again, torque specs. If you had used the torque specs, you wouldn't have this issue. But that's what happened to this one. It got loose and got hot, melted, because it wasn't tightened or torqued properly. Wouldn't tight, tighten, uh, tight enough, so. 
Um, there again, four specs. How to prevent this problem. And this thing got hot all the way around it. So, that's what happened to this particular unit here. Because it wasn't too all right. All right, so if you notice the back of this start on the solenoid cap, this little S-terminal is what they call it. And this S-terminal wasn't torqued properly and it stripped it out. So now you have a loose wire here. So sometimes when you go to, go to engage the starter, it works, sometimes it wouldn't. And so since you didn't torque it properly or whoever didn't torque it properly, now it's just kind of sitting there loose. It might be tight for a minute and then be loose, but you can see the threads, but they tighten it too tight. Uh, sometimes these can actually break off and you tighten them too tight, but more than likely it's gonna strip out just like what happened here. Mm -hmm. So there again, proper torque specs. We're talking inch pounds, low inch pounds here. Um, but that's what happens when you don't torque things properly. And now you've got something that works, sometimes it doesn't. You've got a starter that works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. So anyway, that's another uh, example of something that wasn't torqued properly on a starter.